everyone, it's Coaster012, and, and today I get the Razor Ripsaw. I had to get a new couch card because, well, originally I was using this, the Elgato uh, Game Capture HD. When I first got it, it was okay, but it was like it was the only thing you could get that actually you could properly uh, uh, that you could properly videotape, not videotape. The capture PlayStation 3. Other games, like, uh, other capture cards, you had to get, like, a whole bunch of, like, pass throughs or shit like that. And sorry, excuse my language, stuff like that. And, anyways, uh, it's been screwing me over a lot. I do a lot, of, uh, quite a bit of live streaming, and, uh, the signal will cut out in the middle of a stream. And, uh, like, I've been looking at my computer screen trying to move away. I've been playing Monster Hunter. So, guess what? When you're in a big battle and this cuts out the signal on my TV, it's annoying. And then you all have to mess with cords. I'll plug them plug back in a whole bunch of times. And I had enough of it. Anyways, it worked when I got it. And, but now, Razor. I don't know when they released this, but they this came out this uh, a while ago. The... The Ripsaw. I love Razer. The products have been great to me. Uh, you know, the, I, I know I can get into the video in a minute, but like, come on, I got the Razer Ouroboros mouse, the Black Widow keyboard. I have a freaking, you know, the Kraken headset. So yeah, I I I like their I, their products. Anyway, so I I finally get a Ripsaw now. Um, a rubber. Re recently got one. He likes it. I've been wanting to get one too. It's supposed to be pretty good. I watch reviews and stuff on it. I can actually do... Okay, what's it say at the back of the box here? Anyways, high definition, 1080p. All the way out streaming 1080. That requires a pretty high bit rate. I stream in 720. It still looks pretty good. And uh, doesn't require as high a bit rate. Ultra low latency stream over USB 3, which I don't think the other Elgato one I had had HD or uh, USB 3. So, and then uh, professional grade second audio max. And now they they have um like the auxiliary and stuff on there. I don't have any headsets or anything that were that. Or compatible? It's not really good. The old like headphone jacks. It's all my stuff is like USB, so it doesn't really serve a purpose to me. Anyways, let's get this box open instead of uh, just rambling on for a long time. People want to see it. Of course, they always give you this little thing. Thank you for purchasing. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Congratulations. There is no turning back. Blah blah. blah. And then the capture card, which. It was small, but a little bit bigger than this one. Actually, there's several features. We'll get the plastic off this in a sec. There's just several features that I actually looked at that just overall look better than the Elgato. And we'll take a good look. I did look into this one for a while, and it really impressed me while I've seen it. seen reviews and stuff. Oh, that's nice. It's not, like, super glossy. Yeah, it's not glossy. It's, little, it's matte. It won't pick stuff up. There's gloss around the sides that will pick up fingerprints, but how it will features though on it the way I do really like. Um, now this was the these are the auxiliary ports. I don't know how well you can see them, but uh, one's like auxiliary, one's mic. I don't have anything used as that mine or USB, but they're there if you want it. Well, pat on the bottom. Another thing they can see this being good, it should, looks like it should sit flat pretty well. That's the, not like my other one. Cords dangling off of it. And it's got a it's got a nice form. As you see, there's nothing on the sides. Just the auxiliary points in the front. And then uh and then HDMI in the back, which is cool. The Elgato has the annoying HDMI coming out each side and the USB is on the back as well. I'm moving the camera rapidly. No, it's on focusing. There's uh it's hard to read, but component in on the right there. Right here. 
And fast transfer, yeah, that's right, USB 3, fast transfer, USB, that's freaking good. Uh, I love that, that's fantastic, so uh, I'll actually enjoy that. And, of course, we gotta see what else comes with it. And it does 60 frames per second, all the Elgato doesn't do 60, I guess you only get 30, so if I'm playing a game in like 60 frames per second or more, it's kind of dumb. We got her manual, I'm guessing, telling you how to hook everything up if you have any problems. And like Razer always does to give you stickers, so if you want to stick that on your PC or anything like that, it's cool. Here we got, I love this. Look at all these cords. Like, this is to give you component cords. That's really nice if you have like AV or component devices really good they give you a three three point five millimeter audio cable so they actually give you the cable you need the Elgato didn't even give you an HDMI yeah that's right that original Elgato didn't even give you HDMI didn't give you a USB cord they just give you the device so they give you that look an HDMI, uh, uh, HDMI cable that is freaking nice now, you still need another one, because you need one that passes through to your TV, but at least they give you one. Then they give you a component AV multi-cable, which is cool if you look at it. They say component multi-AV cable, but look at it. It's a PlayStation hookup. And the reason for this is... Um, PlayStation 3... Well, of course, the earlier PlayStations, it also works for, like, PlayStation 1 too. But PlayStation 3 has a HDMI lockout. So this is a way to, like, bypass and allow you to do this. It's just a single cord. You know, plug this in the back of your PlayStation. Plug the, uh, plug the little, this end in here into your device. Fantastic. And here's a thing that I want to go over. Why I like this. Look at this cable. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. It's, this is getting blurry. It's on focusing because I move my arm around. It's hard to focus. It's not that I have low quality camera quality. But you see the end there. It's just like a little, like, I don't know. You say like rectangular or whatever end. And I will show you the pain of the Elgato. See that? I don't know if you can see it that well. It's a big ass thing with a whole bunch of pins that go in there. And I don't know, you might not be able to see it, but the end, one end, there's like, the holes are like ripped up because it has a whole bunch of pins. It's annoying. It, it, it's the worst thing ever. This hookup is great. And then they give you a nice USB 3 cable. Yeah, Elgato. I don't know if you did that with HD60, but really having a nice H, having this nice cable, fantastic. Look all the nice cables and stuff to give you this. Now I'm gonna be doing a live stream, maybe tonight or whatever. I get it around to. I'm not sure when I'll get the live stream. I want to try this thing out and see just how good it works. My brother's been using his. He did a little bit of Splatoon or whatever. Uh, Shout out to uh, Fire Punch Zero and Two. He's uh, you. I'll put his link to his uh, stream as well down below. Um, below this video, I also have mine down there. But uh, I'll might might do a review of this thing when I actually get a good use out of it. But as an unboxing, the first impressions, I do like this is so much nicer than Elgato. It should work a lot better. You know, I like how it is. All the cords plug in the one freaking side, not out both ends. And the and the one problem about having the cords out the both ends is the at least with all go dangle around and lift up and stuff. Let's hope it this doesn't. It's got it's actually got a bit of heft to it there too. You know, it doesn't feel like super light. Doesn't feel cheap. Like I said, Razer has always been good to me. The products have always been good, so I, I like that, so, that's amazing, like, look at all these cords, like, 
Oh god, it gave me like no cords back when I bought it. Like, I swear. Like, it's nice to have that. I just need to uh, plug in one more HDMI. I got enough. Got extra HDMI now, so. Um, so that'll be good. It's good to having an extra HDMI. You know, it's nice. Companies should throw all these cords in. They should always put all these cords. Oh, you could go buy one. Shut up and just throw them in there, you know. Anyways, I'm just rambling on right now, but I'm really uh, looking forward to try this. Try streaming, uh, do some Twitch streaming with this, and we'll hopefully, it won't cut out on me. Play maybe on Monster Hunter without the issues this time around. Uh, anyways, uh, this is with Coaster Zero Two. So uh, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. If you think uh, I'm just rambling too much. <laughs> And, uh, if you want to see this in action, like I was saying, go to my, uh, channel, stream, my link to my channel will be down, uh, down below, uh, twitch, er, uh, twitch.tv slash kevster02 will be down in the description. Also, uh, you know, uh, check out my brother's stream, Fire Punch Zero and Two, that will be down in the description as well, and, uh, yeah, this was the Razor Ripsaw, and I'm hoping it, uh, I'm hoping I get a lot of good use out of this and hoping it works really well. Alright. Have a good day, everyone.